So in this video of C Sharp .NET, we will start writing the basic program of C Sharp. As we have already done the installation, let's see how we can start writing a basic program like printing a message, how we can compile a program and see the output. We will do all these things in this video. Now let's see how we can write a program in C Sharp, right? Like here in the previous video as we have discussed that whatever you will write inside the main method will start the execution from there itself. So for now in the beginning we will do everything right here inside the main method only. So to just print a simple message like a hello world program here we will use the method class called console inside which you will get a method called write line and this console class will be there right here in the system namespace. So whatever you will write in the double quotations will be used as a string for example welcome to C sharp and as soon as uh, I will execute it the compilation process will be along with that. We have the start button here which will compile which will firstly save then compile and then execute this program. Coming here in the debug menu you will find a couple of options like start debugging F5 and start without debugging control F5. So you can either use these shortcut keys as well. So here I will do control plus F5 and as soon as I will do that we will be able to see the output like this. If you will press F5 key only the output will come and go right means it will not be staying there for long. So in case you are using make sure that you are using the console.read line after this which I will discuss later. In order to print the messages we have some more methods right here like along with the console.write line we do have the method called write. For example I printed hello so the difference will be console.write will just print the string but it will not break the line while console.write line also breaks the lines when once the message is printed. So let's see the output now. Again control plus F5 and you see hello and welcome to C sharp both are in same line itself. But if I will use console.write line here the output will be in two different lines like this. You can also use some escape sequences which you may have used in the earlier programming languages. It's okay if you didn't like slash n. I am using console.write which actually doesn't break the line but if I will add slash n right after the hello that means that the line will be broken. Similarly you can use slash t that will give a tab space in the output. So this is how you can start writing these basic programs.